Have you ever experienced a moment so captivating that it just stopped you in your tracks? My name is Zach, and today I want to pray with you for daily encounters with the Lord. I had a moment like this recently while celebrating a friend's birthday. The sun had gone down, and a few of us were outside just barbecuing some different meats, some carne asada, fajitas, ribs, chorizo. If you know, you know. And once we wrapped up the cooking, we all sat around a campfire, and we just sat down and got to enjoy the fruits of our labor. And guys, let me tell you, the vibes were immaculate. But for a moment, we we're living in this intersection of, of good food, good music, and great company. And on my way home, I sat in gratitude for what I experienced, but I also quickly realized that as quickly as that moment came, it was fading with each mile that went behind me. Moments like these are few and far between, and while I welcome them, the truth is that good vibes, they're not gonna sustain us. We need daily encounters with a living and powerful God who loves us and is fighting on our behalf. The book of Exodus, it chronicles an unexpected moment where Moses encountered the Lord on Mount Horeb. It says this, in Exodus chapter 3, verses 4 through 6 in the NIV version, it says, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, here I am. Don't come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Hope City, when we realize that the ground that we stand on is holy ground, it begins to change our perspective and it opens us up to be able to start to see God all around us. God desired to be present in the lives of his children, but in order to encounter him, we have to make space in our lives. Like inviting friends over for a dinner party, you intentionally set the table. You put a placemat and silverware for each guest that's joining you. In the same way, we have to reframe our focus every day so that we can be in tune with the voice of God. John 15 verse 13, it says in the NIV version, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Hope City, you're desperately loved so much that God was willing to send his very own son to die on our behalf so that we could experience the fullness of life. Let's pray together that we would daily encounter the presence of the Lord in our lives. God, thank you so much that you are here with us. God, you are present in this very moment as we sit here, God. Thank you that you desire to be among us, that you loved your children so much that you sent your son Jesus to die on our behalf, God, so that we could come into relationship with you. God, I pray that you would help us to create intentional space. Would you grow a desire in us to slow down and to be present before you, God, so that we can see the way that you are moving. We can hear the things that you're speaking to us and that we can be aligned with your heart. And finally, God, we pray that we would experience radical change in our lives, God. As we slow down during this 21 days of prayer, Lord, I pray that we would be able to experience the power in the move of God as we turn our attention towards you. Jesus, we love you, and it's in your name we pray. Amen.